Hey guys, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. Welcome to the Familia if you are new. And don't forget to subscribe. I am always here hanging out with you, doing some makeup tutorials and reviews and all that jazz. So I am back with another lip swatching video. I know how much you guys love lip swatching videos and I love doing them. So here we are. L'Oreal just released, I don't know how long ago, of their infallible matte lipstick. They are the Lay Macarons. I don't know how to say that, but the Lay Macaroon shades. Seven come in this line in particular. I usually try to keep a super simple eye look, but I filmed another video today and I'm like, why not just do two in one, you know? But of course I have nothing on my lips, so I wanna lip swatch these for you in studio lighting and in daylight, golden hour to be exact so you guys can see how the lip shades look in different lighting and what i do first is lip swatch everything at the beginning and towards the end of the video we talk about it i tell you how they look how they feel we'll do a little bit of a wear test just to see because these are matte lipstick what i'm gonna do is show you on my phone of the order we're gonna go in do all the lip swatches and then i'll see you towards the end right fam this is the order we're gonna go with look how pretty this packaging is isn't it so cute ah it's kind of like lightest to darkest. All right, let's start the lip swatches. First one up is 818 Dose of Rose. This is the shade Dose of Rose. And in daylight, this is Dose of Rose. This is the shade 820 Praline de Paris. This is the shade Praline de Paris. This is Praline de Paris. This is the shade 824 Guava Gush. This is the shade Guava Gush. Daylight, this is Guava Gush. Next one up is 822 Mont Carabao. This is Mont Caramel. Next one up is 826 Mademoiselle Mango. This is the shade Mademoiselle Mango. Daylight, this is Mademoiselle Mango. I know I didn't pronounce that one right. Next one up is 828 Frambois Frenzy. This is the shade Frambois Frenzy. In daylight, this is from Wall Frenzy. Last but not least is Black Current Crush. This is the shade Black Current Crush. And in daylight, 
Daylight, this is Black Current Crush. All right, where do I start? Well, my trencitas are back. I'm kind of loving the whole braid thing because I don't like to do my hair and braids just make you look well put together really quickly. You know what I mean? But okay, so wow, I don't know where to start. First and foremost, I've tried this formula before when they first released back in 2017. It was Candyman, the shade I had. They came out with the collection. I think it was like chocolate, lay chocolate, something like that. I had it around the time I started my YouTube channel. I would wear it all the time because it was a perfect nude. Let's start off with this shade right here, Mon Caramel. Wow, this nude is perfect. It's a little bit on the pinky nude. I don't like pinky nudes. I like like nude nudes, but I I really just like how it looks on my lips because I do have very pigmented lips. My lips are pretty pink. So we need pigment in order for us to see like the exact color of liquid lipstick shade. So this shade right here is so good. Look at this applicator. Look how tiny it is. L'Oreal always has these types of applicators and I love the pointy this to it because I don't have a huge cupid's bow. Little applicators like this really help me not to mess up and it just helps fill in the lips so freaking nicely you guys saw i didn't really mess up when i was lining my lips and that's kind of rare i don't have a well-defined shape on my lips so it kind of takes me a long time so the applicator is a big deal especially like with lipsticks because these are gonna stay these were so hard to take off all six of them that i had to take off and put back on were really hard so this is a true true matte formula super highly pigmented i think just with one layer you're good to go i layered all of them twice so you guys can see the true color but for the most part that first layer you're gonna get the true color out of the product the product looks exactly how it is in the packaging you don't look at the color and they get something else on your lip honestly guys my favorite shades were all of them i just cannot well not pick which one this bright orange one was so freaking pretty I would say this one was the least pigmented from all of them. It is a little bit on the thicker side. So when you do your first layer, make sure you let it dry down. If you want to go with the second layer, this is two layers and girl, this thing is pigmented and it's not quite dry. You see liquid lipstick when they're not dry, they get a little sticky like this, but it is drying down. I do feel it drying. So usually I would give it like 10 full minutes for your lipstick to dry. They all range in prices from like $4 to $8. I've seen them at Ulta, Target, and also Amazon. I'll link them down below in case you are interested. I just really love this collection. It's so freaking pretty. Another thing I like about the packaging is that the number is right here. So it's 818 and then the shade number is down there. And I love L'Oreal's Infallible whole line. I just love it so much. It's very long lasting makeup. Look, I'm. I'm actually wearing this foundation today because that line is just so good. It's going to last all day long and it's just bomb. So you definitely get pigment here and I really, really like that. I also do want to show you guys how the swatches look in daylight so you can get a clear picture on how it looks on my arm. As you can see here in daylight, it's very true to color and I really, really like that. Something that's very just surprising to me is just the pigment. One layer gets to the point quickly and I like that. It feels comfortable. It doesn't feel drying. If you're looking for a lip balm, I love the A&D diaper rash ointment. That thing is a lifesaver for your lips or any cut you may have. It's so good if your lips are really chapped. Wear it overnight and you'll have very soft lips as i was swatching them i'm thinking this is like a summer collection because they are summery shades i mean i guess it's only this one that's very summery this pink one i felt like it was bright but then on the lips it looks more of a magenta which definitely can transfer to the fall these kind of remind me of the maybelline superstay lipstick but if i were to choose between those two, I think I would pick the infallible line. I don't know, something about it, I like it a little bit more. It's more of a long wearing matte liquid lipstick. If you're gonna wear matte, I feel like that's what we want. We want longevity these days, especially here in California, we are still wearing our masks. So, you know, we gotta put something over. And also I just literally did the Makeup Revolution Matte Balm lipstick swatches. And if you wanna know which ones I would prefer, but I think as of right now, it's this one. I think the applicator 
is a game changer to me. I just really appreciate the applicator. The size is not too big. It's not bulky. It can fit in your purse and your vanity anywhere on your desk. And I don't know, something about this little mold here, I just love. So that counts when you're comparing like different ones, you know? I'll just insert the wear test right here. Okay guys, jumping in, let's start the time now. It's about 5.30. This is how the lips look. It completely dried. Not bad, huh? You see that pigment? Okay, see you later, bye. Hey, jumping in, I'm back. It is about 10.30. We've had the lipstick on for a little over five hours. Let's say over five hours and look, no transfer of any kind. Look at my arm. These swatches are literally intact, but I wanna show you guys what I did tonight with Boo. We went to the local taco joint that we absolutely love. I was craving tacos so badly. I got three tacos and I was chomping down on my tacos. I put green salsa. I love green salsa with some carne asada. Mm. And yeah, that was it. It was pretty greasy. Of course, tacos are greasy and I like to eat my food. I mean, in general, but when I'm doing a lip swatching video, so you guys can see how the lipstick looks. And I mean, it doesn't look great because obviously you have like a splotch here, but for the most part, not bad. These are by far the best matte lipsticks I've tried in a while. Mm -hmm have the butthole lips a little bit but look at these swatches though like what but yeah okay back to the outro thank you for hanging out with me and let me know have you tried these lipsticks have you seen them have you bought them what do you think of l'oreal's infallible line i love it but let me know your thoughts thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me i hope you enjoyed the studio lighting and the sunlight swatches they're always so much fun to do and yeah I love you guys so, so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right here, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.